Okay, now we're gonna look at something that does happen quite often. You'll have a steeper part of your roof turning into a, a lower slope. So there's a steeper pitch up top and a lower pitch on the bottom. So what we're gonna do is called a pitch transition or change. See, we need to do something where that change happens so that the panels can go down, water can come off, and hit the lower slope and come off the roof. All right, so Dave, how can we take care of this, this detail? All right, so if you look here at the lower slope roof, you can see that we've already put panel on it, and we've installed Z-Trim, as we have been doing elsewhere on this project. So the piece that's gonna allow us to join the panels on the lower slope and the panels on the higher slope is the pitch transition flashing, or the pitch change trim. It's both the same piece, and I'm gonna show you how to install that now. Okay. So the piece that allows us to join the two different slopes is the pitch transition trim. We're gonna install it here, over top of the panels that have already been installed on the lower slope. And what this does is, it allows water to flow off the upper panels, out over the trim, onto the lower panels, and it exits the roof at the eave. So what I'm gonna do now, I've already prepared this trim, and you can see beneath it that we're gonna install it using Z-Trim, as we have throughout the rest of the project. I'll make sure to use tape seal in between the flashing and the top of the Z and we'll use pop rivets for a concealed fastener installation. I'm gonna go ahead and do that now, and we'll come back and continue with the installation. Now that I've finished installing the transition trim, we can go ahead and install an offset cleat so that we can clip our upper panels into it. So we have our pitch change trim installed. We have an offset cleat on top of it. We've made sure to use tape seal in between the cleat and the transition trim. And what I've been doing now is I've installed the small panels as we come across the top. You can see here that the panel is clipped into the offset cleat for a concealed fastener installation. I'm gonna install a couple of screws and then we can install our last panel. Earlier we talked about how water hits the upper panel, flows down across the transition trim and onto the lower panel and exits the roof at the eave. And that's exactly what we've done here. We would have water coming off this panel, coming across and over, down the roof and exits. So we're gonna put the last panel on this section. And as you can see, as I put it up here, it clearly, it's wider than the space that we have to fill. So I'm gonna to have to take off this rib, come back and install it. I'm gonna go do that now. So I've installed the last panel on our pitch transition. And what we've gotten to see here is how water flows off the upper panel, onto the transition trim, and onto the lower panel, and off the roof. We've used an offset cleat for a concealed fastener installation, and now we can move on with our project. 